Hey guys, Fizz here, and uh, welcome to my third episode, third and final episode of my Why I Game On series. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be talking about PC, and towards the end, we're going to talk a little bit about Nintendo, since I don't really feel like making an entire video uh, just about Nintendo. So, let's get right into it. Why do I game on PC? Well, back in, I would say, about 2012, a lot of my friends really started move making that move towards PC gaming, you know. Uh, back in 2012, we hadn't learned about the new consoles yet. These, you know, these almost eight-year-old consoles at the time were starting to really show their age, you know, especially in games like Battlefield, uh, Tomb Raider. You couldn't even play Battlefield with more than 24 players on the Xbox and PlayStation 3. So a lot of my friends were really, really into Battlefield, which is the gameplay you're watching now of me on Battlefield 4. And so we decided that we were going to move just strictly for Battlefield, and I'm serious, we were going to move by PCs and we were going to move to Battlefield 3 on um, on PC. And of course this is before Battlefield 4 was announced or anything like that, we just moved to Battlefield 3 on PC. So we all saved up a bit, <clears throat> uh, we got some not so good PCs, uh, at least I did. Uh, a couple of my friends, like Joseph, he already had a PC before me, it was actually a pretty decent PC, um, but I got this just kind of crappy PC. And I played with them, 64 players, Battlefield 3, um, all the settings turned down, barely playing in like, I think, 900p is what I was having, having to play in since I couldn't handle the game. And uh, and, and it was just a mind-opening experience, because before that, I didn't even know that PCs were really a thing. Like, yeah, I had Steam on my laptop, yeah, I played Left 4 Dead 2 with my buddies, but I didn't realize that this huge, you know, uh, community here was being able to play these games and being able to play it the way that they were like I guess I just didn't really think that a PC could outperform a console I just I wasn't in that mindset at the time eventually though um, right around the time the Xbox one came out uh, I did get a pretty decent PC not super amazing but it was decent I had an R9 270 X uh, I was you know playing um, <laughs> playing Battlefield 3 at 1080p Ultra and then moved to Battlefield 4 um, around midway into 2014 and kind of never really looked back. I, I play a majority of my multiplats on PC now just because of the better performance. Uh, games I can't get anywhere else I play on the consoles and games that I want to play with my buddies I play on whatever console they have which is usually Xbox. Since if you watch the Xbox video you know that pretty much all my friends have Xbox Ones and only two of them have PlayStation. So if I want to play games with my buddies, I either play them on PC if they have them, because I do have a, a, a group of friends who does only play on PC, and I have a group of friends who pretty much only plays on Xbox, and I have a group of friends who pretty much only plays on PlayStation. So it's it's in my interest to have everything for sure. But you know, when I when I want that extra boost in performance, I do play on my PC. Now I have a seventeen hundred dollar rig, got uh, GTX nine eighties and some pretty good other specs, tons of other things. I don't even really feel like getting into it, just spent a lot of money and <laughs> for this performance. I get Battlefield 4 in 1440p at 120 hertz, let's just leave it at that. Uh, anyways, I see, but the thing is about that, and I, I, I know I'm gonna get flack for this, is I have a 1440p monitor, but I don't have a 1440p monitor that supports 120 uh, frames, uh, or hertz, 120 hertz uh, monitor. So I, I've still never gamed in 120 hertz, and everyone's like, dude, 120 FPS gaming is the best, and I just, oh man, I'm so upset. My dad just got a 4K 120 hertz TV, and so I want to take my PC over to his house and play some Counter-Strike in 4K 120 hertz. I think that'd be awesome. Which is uh, which kind of leads into my next point about why I also play on PC is, believe it or not, PC has its own exclusives. Games like XCOM, uh, various indie games that are pretty much only made for Steam, as well as Steam sales, oh my god, Black Friday had 9,001 games on sale. Just saying. It was literally over 9,000. And you can always find cool stuff like that. Steam is kind of, you know, known for its sales and its library of games since it has, pretty, it, you know, your library of games it doesn't really change on PC. You'll always have, like, the games from last generation, the games from two generations ago. I mean, I'm playing through Psychonauts again on my on my PC. That's just a crazy feeling to me, because Psychonauts was a game from my childhood on the original Xbox, and I kind of never thought I'd play it again, you know. Um, and then you have games like Counter Strike, which 
are on 360 and PS3, but come on, the competitive scene is on PC. And Counter-Strike is just one of the best shooters I've ever played, and it is definitely the best competitive shooter I've ever played, and it's so much fun, and you, you don't get that experience unless you're on PC. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm on PC, and I really love it. I, I definitely think that if you have the money, again, I'm going to stress, if you have the money for PC, go for it. I understand some people like consoles for their ease of use and for their price point. I get that. Just know that if you want to put the money into PC, you can. And honestly, you can get a good PC for about the same price as a console. Maybe not on Black Friday, but for like 400 bucks, 500 bucks, you can build yourself a decent PC. Definitely one better than the consoles. Probably not one that's going to run Battlefield 4 at 120 hertz, but you know what I mean. You get my point. You can run these games. Um, and so I, I definitely think you should look into it. As gamers, keeping your mind open and looking into things is always is always great. And I know a lot of you who watch my who watch my videos are PC gamers. Um, so you know you you guys know what I'm talking about here. Uh, anyways, that that's PC. Um, Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo. Um, the reason I'm adding this as a quick little blurb at the end of this video is because I don't really play Nintendo that much. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest here. Um, I bought a 3DS for Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 7, and that's still the only games that I own for the 3DS. I bought it like a year ago, but I, I love it. I love Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is one of my favorite games of all time, so I didn't mind spending $200 for a 3DS just to play Smash on it. Um, and then Mario Kart's awesome, so I bought Mario Kart. I My dad has a Wii U. I don't personally have a Wii U. but I have a Wii U, when I go to his house I can play it, you know, and um, I'm probably going to get Xenoblade, I've been hearing amazing things about it, I played, um, I played Bayonetta 2, I played um, Wonderful 101, I played a couple other games, and I just don't, um, I'm not as drawn to Nintendo as I used to be, I was a huge GameCube fanboy, <laughs> just kidding, but I, I had, you know, GameCube and loved all their multiplats, loved all their exclusives and stuff like that, but when the, when the Wii came out, man, they just lost it for me. We had tons of sales, but no games, horrible graphics as far as that generation was concerned, and pretty much the only reason I played, the only thing I played on the Wii was Spider-Man and Wii Sports, and that obviously couldn't hold me forever, so, you know, been playing on 360 then PS3, then PC, and I just have no reason to go back. Nintendo has nothing to offer me, truly, just nothing to offer me. I don't feel like playing Mario 947, I just don't. Unless they bring out some new IPs, I, I want to play Splatoon because I've been seeing and hearing great things, but that's, that's really it. They need to start bringing out more IPs, they need to get better third-party support, and then I might purchase a Nintendo console. Um, but that's it for Nintendo. Um, Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the description um, how you enjoyed the series. I, I've been trying to, you know, keep it a little interesting. And I know I, I took really long with this video, but I was on Thanksgiving break, um, self-appointed Thanksgiving break, and I just uh, wasn't making videos. But I'm back making videos every day now. So, um, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and, if, uh, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay classy.